Now, this is how you can make a timer system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you could go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also have a brand new bot tier, which will give you the full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. You could also get any of these four bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go ahead and get into the code all right so to start let's go over to community and we're going to go ahead and create timer.js we're going to start off by getting our slash command builder and we're also going to get our embed builder and then we can go ahead and do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package we're going to go ahead and start off by doing module exports to create a command we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be timer and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say start a timer we're going to go ahead and add a number option and we can do option arrow function option does set name and this is going to be our timer number and we're going to go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say the timer number in seconds we're also going to go ahead and set required to true then we can add a comma and we're going to do async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and we're going to go ahead and open this up within this we can go ahead and get our options and then we can set that equal to our interaction we're also going to get const num and then we can do equals options to get number that's going to be our timer number then we're going to do async function and we're going to do send a message and i'm going to go ahead and pass in two parameters we're going to get message and we're going to get edit and we can open this up we're going to start off by getting our embed and we're going to get our new embed builder just like that we're going to go ahead and set a color and i'm going to make this blurple and we can go ahead and set a description i'm going to make that message we're also going to set a footer with the text and I'm going to go ahead and get a caution emoji and we can just go ahead and say this timer may be we can do one to two seconds off as API calls have to be made to update messages. So while technically the display number in the message will be off, the timer is actually pretty accurate. Every time I've tested it, it ends around the exact same time as my actual timer. So just keep that in mind. Now we're going to go ahead and say if, and we can do edit. We're going to go ahead and do await interaction to edit to reply. And we can get our embeds, and we're going to get our embed. And we can also go ahead and just catch an error here in case we have an issue. And we can just go ahead and do nothing within that. Uh, that way, if we have an error, maybe the message doesn't exist for whatever reason, we can just go ahead and return. Then we're going to say else, and we can do await interaction dot reply. We're going to get our embeds, which is going to be our embed. We're also going to go ahead and set informal to true on that message. So now that we have our send message function, let's go ahead and make our timer logic. So we're going to do var current equals zero. We can also do our first message. So we can do await send message. And I'm going to just go ahead and get a globe emoji. And we can go ahead and do backslash tick. We can get num minus current. So we're going to do that current math calculation. We're going to do backslash take again, and we can say seconds remain out of your, and we can do num, and we can do second timer, just like that. So now we're going to do var done, and we can say if done, then we're going to go into return. Then we can set an interval, and we're going to do async, and we make an empty function, and we're going to open that up. Our interval is going to be one second, so that's going to be 1,000 milliseconds. We want to update the message every single time a second is passed. So to do that, we're going to use our interval. Now we're going to go ahead and do current, and we're going to go ahead and do plus plus. So every second, we're going to go ahead and add current to this. Then we're going to go ahead and make a math check. So we can say if current is greater than or equals to, we can do number. We're going to open this up, and we're going to do await send message. And I'm just going to go ahead and get a thumbs up emoji, and we can go ahead and say your timer is done just like that and i'm gonna finish that bolding we're also gonna go ahead and set true because we need this to be an edit message now that we've already sent a message so then we can go ahead and set done to true as well because as soon as we send this message it means we no longer want that message to be edited so we're going to go ahead and set done to true and return then we're going to go ahead and say else and we can just go ahead and do await send message and i'm going to go ahead and get a globe emoji and this is actually going to be the exact same message that we did up here the reason why we're copying and pasting and not setting as a variable is because current is changing within the interval and we send this message outside of the interval so a variable would not actually work properly but now that we have that, we also have to go ahead and set true there because again, we've already sent a message. So every time we update it, it has to be an edit. Now we are actually done with this entire system. So essentially what we've done is we've created a current variable and it's gonna start at zero because obviously when we start this, zero seconds have passed. Then we're gonna go ahead and make our calculation. So it's gonna be the number of seconds in the timer subtracted by current. 
and then every second that passes we're going to add current so every time that it gets updated every second it's going to essentially subtract one from the number then when current is greater than or equals to number and we use the greater than operator because if for some reason current somehow gets added one extra or whatever we want to always catch this if it's greater than number then we just send and say it's done because current will have matched the number timer so the last thing that we actually have to fix that i did i don't know if you did is i misspelled number right up here so let's just go ahead and fix that so then after we do that we're actually done with this entire system so let's go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out i'm gonna go ahead and get our timer command i'm just gonna go ahead and get five seconds and we can go ahead and send it so as you can see we have a countdown now and i'm just gonna let it happen and as soon as that's done the timer ends we can go in and run this again and commentate it this time so it goes from five to four to three to two to one and it's actually an accurate timer that ends when it's done so the reason we have to give this message is because it's going to edit it a little bit delayed and i'll show you that in a longer timer but for just five seconds it looks pretty accurate so now let's go ahead and run a 60 second timer and let's go ahead and open up the timer here and i'm just going to go ahead and let the whole thing play so at the same time, I'm just going to go ahead and start it. So if we send it, and I'm going to start it at the exact same time. So it's going to start. I kind of messed it up. It's a little bit delayed. So maybe we can restart it. Let's go ahead and run a new one. We can do 60. And at the same time that I send it, I can go ahead and start it. So now it's actually pretty accurate. So what you're going to notice is the two timers are going to run at the same time. And this one is obviously going to be like a second off because we started them like a second off. But it might look like it's not actually updating see right here it stayed on 47 seconds for a little bit too long and then it actually went ahead and went down pretty fast so you're going to notice that that's just because of the update call so as you can see it's on 37 for quite some time and then it's going to kind of skip through a couple seconds there to catch up to where it was but the important thing is after the amount of time is up it will end right on time that is not going to cause any second delays or anything like that see even with the delay that it waited on those seconds a couple of times, it's still in the exact same position as it was previously. So now we have about 10 seconds left and we're still behind just about one second, which is perfect. It means we haven't lost any time. Now, as you can see, it's happening again. We're stuck, but it should skip through three, two, one, and end exactly one second after the timer. Even though we had an API issue where the message took a little bit to update, it still ended exactly the same amount of time after we started the actual timer, meaning this system works 100%. So the last thing I want to mention about this is it is in seconds. So if you wanted to make minutes, you would have to do like 120. So that would be two minutes um, or whatever that is. Um, but just keep that in mind because if you try to put in minutes, it's going to give you seconds. So that's you can make an advanced timer system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.